Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Mike, Falco's Flips, I'm a part-time reseller based in Northwest England. Uh, these videos are just about kind of getting out there in the morning, doing something, a bit of exercise, trying to, uh, you know, lose a bit of the COVID weight. That's what these videos are about. They're just going to be kind of short 10, 15 minute videos. Um, if you want kind of regular reselling kind of info or videos, then I've a load of others this is still reselling related everything i do is reselling related it's just a little bit of a different kind of twist on it i guess in these videos we talk about things that have happened in my week the good the bad the crazy people that you deal with sometimes on ebay with no further delay let's get to it Morning, it is Monday day 11, the day where all the charity shops reopen. I'm going to keep this brief because I've come down an hour early today because it's my son's birthday. I could easily have just not come today, use that as an excuse because I, you know, I really want to be there when he wakes up this morning. But I thought no, I'll come down an hour early, I'll get my exercise in and then I should get back hopefully before he wakes up. I know it's dark and you probably can't see me, so I'm gonna leave this bit here. Right, so day 11 done. I spent most of today just running. I've really pushed myself today. I can barely breathe. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I think coming down at this time, not earlier, might be the way to go forward, you know, because it's so quiet. Okay, so the plan is get home. I'm a bit earlier today. Hopefully I get home before my son is up. My son Milo is six today, so happy birthday Milo. I'm sure he won't be watching this, <laughs> maybe in years to come. So I'm gonna go home, he's gonna open a couple of presents before school. It's no good is it going to school on your birthday. My partner's gonna join me today, and maybe a few days this week. So 12th of April, let's go. Good morning, it's Tuesday, day 12. I thought I would come down early again today. Not quite as early as yesterday, but a good like 40 minutes earlier than I usually would. Yesterday was pretty good out at the charity shops. Got some decent stuff. Uh, no kind of amazing home runs. I don't think anyway, but there's some pretty decent stuff. Happy, happy with the first day. So I thought I'd ask everyone, what are your favourite things to pick up? Like what do you pick up the most often? What, when you see it, do you kind of think, yes, like I found another one? Is there a particular type of item or a particular item? I mean, I sell a lot of different stuff, so I have quite a few different things in different categories. But I always, I don't know. I, you know me, I get probably a bit too excited about ceramic items, but something unusual or rare, like ceramic. Um, a bit like 
that egg that I got that sold for a hundred quid, I, mean, I never knew, I never thought in a million years it would sell for a hundred pounds. But I liked, you know, I enjoy things like that, weird things, weird ceramics, and also things from, you know, nostalgic things from my childhood, whether it be toys or Tupperware or, you know, those kind of things. Toys like Transformers, I found a few times, some of the ones that I used to have. There's lots of different things, but when I find stuff like that, you know, it gives you that kind of nostalgic kick. A lot of people, you know, buy this stuff for that nostalgic kick, but I don't need to like have it. I'm quite happy to pick it up and pass it on. That's enough for me. And you know, YouTube these days, whatever it is you wanna find, type it in and somebody's done a video about it. So if you're ever feeling a bit nostalgic, you just go onto YouTube, type in Transformer toys from the 80s, and you know, half a dozen people at least will have done a video about it. I mean, for me, that's enough. But I know a lot of people like the physical item. But yeah, what do you like picking up? So let me know down in the comments. Let's do it. Right, right. day 12, done. So I finished slightly early, but I'm gonna have a bit of a walk around and get some B-roll footage. I've really pushed myself today. I really feel like I've had a proper full workout today. I've just gone for it. It's hurting just lifting this camera up. Um, so yeah, so, you know, some days, you have the energy to just kind of go for it. And yesterday was the same. I did all right yesterday. Today was good. Um, some days though, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to get myself here. And then once I'm here, it's a struggle to push myself. But I've done that the last two days, so that's good. Right, so hopefully I find lots of good stuff at the charity shops today. I am heading down to St. Anne's and Livham, which is like that direction kind of that direction perhaps over there kind of opposite from where i live right down the other side so uh, there's Livim and the st anne's and they both have some all right charity shops i'd say st anne's was probably a little bit better than Livim. they're both kind of more expensive but you do sometimes find some higher end stuff there it's not somewhere i would routinely go I'd never find enough at a reasonable enough price to make a regular thing of it. But right now, I think it's worth going to have a look, seeing what I can find. And then there's a few others closer to, to home that I didn't get to yesterday, which I've not been to yet. So I'll probably come and do them later on or um, maybe tomorrow morning first thing. I think I said I was going to hit all the regular ones every day, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave at least a day between them. Right, so fast forward to Wednesday. So it's day 13, Wednesday, Tuesday, yesterday. Got lots more good stuff from the charity shop. Really happy with what I've been getting. I think though, I've been getting so much stuff that I'm going to have to have a day kind of at home to just catch up with everything it's going to take me quite a while to get everything listed everything cleaned so i'll probably do that maybe tomorrow um maybe friday and also rather than say like you know day 12 day 13 day 14 i'm going to say week one week two week three i think it makes more sense to do that so it is week three wednesday also i think going forward with these videos these particular ones like this 
Um, I'm gonna have to shorten them right down, probably 10, 15 minutes. Very quick update on the keyboard lady. Do you remember the keyboard lady from the first video? The one who called me a liar over and over and over. You say you're not a liar? That, yeah, that one. Yeah, no, well, the update is that there's no update. She's, I've not heard anything back. The last thing I heard from her was a message saying, I'll just throw it away. And that's it, nothing else. So it's now been two weeks and a day. Don't know. I still expect at any moment to just get a negative, negative feedback, but whatever, we'll see. Yeah, if anything does happen on that one, I will let you know. Right, let's get on. It's five to six. As I say, I've been coming down a little bit earlier. Uh, not quite as early as I did Monday, but uh, I think this is about the right time. Try and get here for six, do an hour, home for like 10 past seven. And then that gives me a good amount of time to, you know, get properly ready for the day. Let's get on with it. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so another day done. On to the next. Morning, it's Thursday week three and we're gonna do the what's sold today. So this is what's sold over the last seven days. So manta ray, short sleeve, shirt, like lady shirt, eight pounds plus postage. I have, I think one pound 50 into that. We have a vintage Barney, the purple dinosaur, a toy, soft toy, that was about two pounds i think from the charity shop and that went for 34.99 plus three pounds postage look out for this one he has a little little like horse toy in his front pocket i've had this twice now and both times it's gone for more than 30 pounds so yeah keep an eye out for it the one i've got is not in fantastic condition yet it's still sold for that next some Armalite Dudson cups saucers the white and pink ones. I think I've mentioned these before. This is the last set I've got I do have like a slightly damaged set of three I think uh, But that's it. That's that's the end of that listing. I had loads of these. I paid two pounds fifty per set of four um, So they've been selling for well, between 15 and 20 pounds mostly for 15.99 so profit wise we're talking about 10 pounds all in next we have a nine piece tummy tippy baby nail clipper grooming set 10 pounds plus postage this was from the baby haul so i have around 60p to a pound into into it uh, this is the last one of these to, that i have i think i had three or four to begin with Next we have like a cupcake design, cookie jar, and also a utensils jar. So I got the cookie jar, the utensils jar, and the tea, coffee, sugar for £15 on Facebook Marketplace just a few weeks ago. Um, I listed the utensils jar with the tea, coffee, sugar, but somebody messaged me and said, could I do the cookie jar with the utensils jar? So I did that and I did £35 plus postage. I knocked about a fiver off for them. Next we have the Hornsey Contrast, two casserole dishes, £17.50 plus postage. I got these for £5 along with a load of other Hornsey Contrast stuff. So there you go, there's my money back. Plus a little profit and I've still got a load left. In fact I'd already made the profit because I'd sold a serving dish for around the same price. I think it was £17.99 plus postage, something like that. So yeah, kind of pure profit now, £20 profit. And still lots left next we have a fisher price imagine x hotel gotham play set with one figure one figure i say that for a reason uh 12.99 plus postage but this one might be coming back because basically the customer is not happy with it because it didn't mention that there was no safe and coins with it i have no idea what she's on about but my listing was very clear as to what did come with it. And I took 12, all 12 photographs, very clearly showing exactly what you get. But she's still not happy, says I should have mentioned it. 
and I just replied saying I'm sorry but I disagree. And then we have a dinosaur play set with Volcano, £14.50 plus postage. I have about a pound, maybe two, into that. And then we have a Matchbox Mega Rig Space Shuttle set, £20 plus postage. Not as much as I thought on this. I think I paid about £6 for the lot. They had them all priced individually and I just kind of grabbed everything. It was about £6. I thought it was going to go for closer to 30 but nope. Just no interest at all at that price. I think I put it up at like 25 No interest at all. Put it down to 20 Sold pretty quickly. And we've got a set of five Sony PlayStation 3 games. Nothing special, just kind of, you know, bundle fodder if you like. £12 plus postage. And then we have a Vintage Horn Pottery Bronte Sugar Jar, £12 plus postage. I let this go for 12 because the condition of the lid was not great. The actual ceramic itself was good, but the lid was not. So I think I had it up at about 15 16 99 But happy to take that. I think I paid £2 for a charity shop, so the profit is not, it's not great, but we'll take that little profit. And then the microwave plate I got, £6.99 free postage i thought it'd be worth a little bit more because it was a larger one but no you could buy them new for about eight quid so yeah anyway that was you know pence into that anyway so that's fine and then we got an mns cookie jar 29.99 plus postage this was part of a little kind of mns set i got tea coffee sugar cookie jar and a, a bread Bread box, bread caddy, bread crock, whatever you want to call it. I got all them for... Oh, I can't remember now. I think it was I think it was like 12. It was less than 15. Was it? Actually, no, no, no. It was 8. It was 8. It's all vintage M&S, so... I find vintage M&S stuff can have some decent money. And this cookie jar, I've actually just picked up another one. Almost identical. It's not exactly the same, but it's very, very similar. So I, you know, expect to get 30 quid for that as well. And I think I paid $1.99 for it. And then Leonardo Lifestyle Collection Jam Jar. £9.99 plus postage. This is the last thing out of that set that I got quite a while back now. Last summer, was it? Early summer, I think. But I got a cookie jar, tea coffee sugar, casserole dish, and a load of other bits and mugs and stuff. Everything else is sold for pretty good money. Pretty good money. I do see this stuff everywhere though, so I wouldn't just go picking it up randomly. Um, I got a particularly good deal on the on the big set of it, so it was worthwhile. And then Schleich Brachiosaurus, large dinosaur figure. That's the second one of the two that I had, and it's gone for the same price as the other one, £30 plus postage and then late last night we had a last minute sale of a pair of hair straighteners the Grundig ones 44.99 free postage so I was selling these at between 30 and 35 I had them up at 34.99 I was accepting offers on anything of over the 30 pounds um, and they were selling quite well but then I thought I had a look at what other, one, other people were selling them for and people were selling them for a lot more than that I think like 50 or 60 something like that don't quote me on that something like that 50 or 60 quite a, you know quite a lot more um, so I figured put the price up because I thought they were worth more to begin with I got a load of them from the charity shop I thought I'd struck gold I thought they were gonna be well we were encouraged to selling them for something like 70 at the time um, I think that was like a bit of a overinflated price and uh, yeah, they definitely weren't going to sell for, for that kind of money. Right, let's get on with it. So that's Thursday, week three done. No plans on going to any charity shops today. Today's going to be getting photographs, getting listings on. I'm going to try and get my listings back up to 600 and keep it there. I've already got a load of stuff to go on. load of photographs already done. And then I'm going to get a load more today. So that's it for now. Fast forward to Friday. Hi, it's Friday week three, and as you can see, I am at home, I'm not at the basketball court. Yeah, unfortunately my cat's not very well. I was just about to leave, and she had a seizure, 
It's not the first time she's had one. She's really old. She's like nearly 20 years old. And she basically has like a form of epilepsy. Like a cat version of it. And yeah, she has seizures now and again. Now, sometimes she just has one and that's it. But sometimes she will get into a cycle of having them. So she'll have one. 20 minutes later, she'll have another 20 minutes later, she'll have another. And when that happens, we have to kind of act quickly and get her sedated by the vets to stop the cycle. So basically, I can't I can't leave right now. I need to wait and see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It was a one-off. Yeah, I didn't want to miss the day because it's a slippery slope. You know, you miss one. It's easy to just not go the next day and the next day and the next day and then you stop going completely. I've been here before. So I'm going to leave this one here. Please comment down below if you have any subjects or any questions you'd like me to answer in my next video like this. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Give it up. Give it up.